let's talk with the experts now and have my colleague Annemarie Lötsch up here. She's the marketing manager and she's inviting Olaf Tronroth from Tronroth. He's the sales manager and Eric Kertas, general manager for technology at Tronroth. Welcome on stage. Thank you so much. <laughs> so feel comfortable, feel like home. Anybody? We're comfortable. So thank you, Christine, for this warm welcome. And thank you, Olaf and Eric, for being here today and share your experiences with a virtual commissioning and our digitalization portfolio of Siemens. Yeah, you see, it's pretty crowded. So also welcome to you. And um, as Christine already mentioned, Tronrö is a machine builder from Norway, and they are specialized in packaging machines, amongst others, for food and bath, but also for other industries. And Tronrö was able to reduce the commissioning and overall development time for their machines dramatically by using our portfolio for digitalization by working with digital twins and um, by also using our concepts for virtual commissioning. And um, this is what we want to talk now about, um, to share insights with you, how they proceeded and how they succeeded and how Siemens supported there. So probably um, you can introduce yourself in one or two short sentences, please, at first. Yeah, my name is uh, Olaf Tronrud. I'm the sales manager for uh, Tronrud Engineering. Mm. My name is Eric. I'm uh, managing the exciting the business the part of Tronrud, dealing with packaging technology. Mm. So you see, we really have the experts here for this topic. Um, so Olaf, maybe what would you say is so special about Tronrud as a company? As a, as a machine builder company, we're quite used to approach projects where we don't know how to solve the challenges. And this um, more or less forces us to cooperate very well across the different departments in the company. And not only very good internal cooperation, we also need to cooperate very well with the customer and the supplier. Because very often, or in most cases, we learn very much from the supplier, which we need to use in the project. Mm. Okay, thank you. And what would you say, which mindset uh, do you need as a machine builder in order to, to face the challenges, but of course also to take the chances of digitalization? Yeah, so to, to, to have the software department work very close together with the engineering department because software and then mechanical engineering comes closer together. And we have a very strong motivation in the company to invest in new technology, 3D printing, new software and so on. And in order to succeed with that investment, which we obviously has to do, is to cooperate, to take the advantages and connect them together. Okay, so you say it's about working together, maybe also working in different ways together than before, and be open for new technologies, like, you name it, additive manufacturing, and all else, also other things. Yes. Right. Okay, cool. So um, the machine that we have here at the booth is a packaging machine that packs um, bags with potato chips or salad into boxes. Mm -hmm. And it's probably the world's fastest machine of this type. Um, Eric, um, when developing this machine, what were the specific challenges in the industry you had to cover or keep in mind? I think uh, our customers are no, no different than uh, exactly all of you. Everything you ask for is should be faster, should be more flexible, and should be cheaper. Mm -hmm. So we have the same challenge as Siemens have, and uh, we brought uh, them into the project, trying to develop something that was actually faster, smaller, and also hopefully cheaper in that way. <laughs> I think you succeeded also in the last point, right? We think so. Yes. Okay. So um, then could you please give us a brief description what you have changed in the development process of the machine? So what is the major difference to what you have been doing before? I think the main difference is the, the way we work together. Uh, because uh, earlier there was, uh, and that's the historical facts, that uh, mechanical designers they sat by themselves in a some part of the business and the software guys somewhere else and waiting for the mechanics to be ready. We put them all together 
and uh, they work on the same model. The put everybody puts data into the same 3D model, and that way we can actually cut time to market, which is also a request from the market. We need to be faster also in developing. So, that, therefore, we work better together. Okay, and you work better together. You mentioned it with the help of a 3D model, where all uh, engineers worked on at the same time. So you you basically you you worked with a digital twin of the machine, right? Yeah, I, I think that has been mentioned earlier. Innovation is pain, and the only way to learn is to fail. And by introducing this virtual model, the digital twin of our machine, we can do our failing a lot faster than earlier and also do it virtually. It's, it's cheaper. I think you all know that. So that is some of what we brought into the project. And all disciplines put data into the same model. And we can learn from that. We can see all the things that we should improve prior to building the machine in real life. Okay, and in order to realize um, this digital twin, you used uh, yeah a certain software setting from Siemens. So can you also yeah give us the details which products you used and who was working with this um, with this software? Yeah, well we are used to using Siemens NX, which is our CAD tool, uh, and we use Team Center, which is uh, the platform that actually connects all this software and. Now we also utilized the mechanical concept designer and did uh, the digital twin and the virtual commissioning within that software package. And also we used uh, the software that needed to connect the PLC data and also to simulate. Uh, and all of this is brought together within the, um, a team center platform. Yes. Okay. So thank you. Maybe to let also Olaf speak in between again. So. Why did you decide to go with Siemens for this, um, yeah, this challenge in a digital environment? So why did you choose Siemens in the end in our portfolio and our support? Are there two things important for us that we choose technology or suppliers that can create value for us? And when you choose new technology, which is um, which is complex when you combine everything, you need also to have a supplier that can learn you. Uh, how to use the best advantages of that technology. And that's a huge strength with Siemens that we can even get contact with the development department, the guys that have developed the, the software in order to learn how to use it and even make us better. Okay, so you said first reason to decide for Siemens is that we offer the technology the right technology you need it, right? It's attractive technology. <laughs> and the attractive technology, mm. you hear it. And uh, the second reason is that um, you received uh, excellent support by the Siemens colleagues from Norway, right? So Certainly. big thank you uh, also to Norway Siemens colleagues here. Yeah, we, we have a long relationship with, uh, with Siemens Norway. Mm. OK. And it will continue now, right? Of yeah, course. Sure. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, maybe coming back to the solution you used in simulation and working with the digital twin, um, Eric, you already mentioned uh, several advantages that you received. Maybe you can bring them together again. So what are the advantages yeah. by working with a digital twin? Yeah, I mentioned that we can uh, fail faster. Uh, we do it digitally. It's cheaper. But also, um, basically, we cut the time to market. And uh, I think we cut it by one-fourth of uh, the total project length, 25%. And also the commissioning. Uh, it's always tidy when you have build a machine, it's on the floor, and you are running around and waiting for it to go live. Uh, that's a process which normally takes a lot of time. But now we were prepared. Everything was done digitally. We had seen the machine moving on, uh, in, on the screen. And also, it happened in real life. So. That's a lot faster. I think 25% faster than we usually do. Mm. So yeah, that's a lot of advantages. So it's about reducing development times, yeah. reducing the risk for the real commissioning. Reducing risk, yes. Certainly. Yeah. Um, can you imagine, or what do you think, um, in the future, what is the importance, or what will be the meaning of digital twins and machine building? Is it like a a fancy feature of digitalization, or do you think that there is more beyond? I see uh, virtual commissioning and uh, the digital twin as a natural part of our everyday work. And I think also 
what we have done today is that we run digital and then we test in real life. But also we will put the data from the real life model back into the virtual model and we can simulate things that could happen during operation. So this is, we have to use this every day and we will. That's, that's a good news and um, it's also a good message for you when you are a machine builder. Talking about digital twins, simulation and virtual commissioning, this is not only a trend topic. We are convinced that it's the future of machine building and um, as Tonroy and uh, the colleagues here proved, uh, Siemens is the right supporter, uh, supplier in order to um, face this challenge and to realize this future. So um, we have some minutes or some seconds yeah. left. You use the digital twin now to do a simulation, testing, uh, function validation. But can you also think of other ways how to use this digital twin? Or what will be future ways to use it? Yeah, well, we, we can't predict the future. But uh, when every data available from machine is digitally available, uh, I think we can uh, use more of that to make the machines even better. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure everything we can use it for, but I'm, I'm sure we can find solutions together with Siemens in the future uh, to find better ways. For instance, simulate the complete factory uh, and such things, which is technically possible today, but uh, we will also go that way. Okay, so thank you. So Olaf, maybe as a last question, what uh, are the next steps now? So you have now the digital twin of your machine. You are working very close together with Siemens. Are there any new fancy topics you have uh, in your mind and you will realize now um, as a company Tronroy together with Siemens? Uh, we, 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 we like to be very innovative and um, we already have the next version of the packaging in our assembly department. Yeah. So you can see the, the time uh, life of a machine isn't as long as it was earlier. So we're constantly developing new machines and learning new things before even the machine has reached the market. Mm. Okay. And um, is there an advice you would give to... Mach are, are there any machine builders here? Can you please raise your hand? Who is building machines? Who is planning machines? Who has, who has to do with machines? Who is operating them? Oh, what are you doing? So you are... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I assume there are much more than just the one raised tent. Um, are there any advices you can give to other machine builders when they are thinking about uh, implementing digitalization topics and technologies? I think mo one of the most important things, was things we can do is to collaborate. And digital models actually improves collaboration, both with suppliers such as Siemens, uh, which we have done, and also internally in the organization. And for, uh, to all of you, innovation is uh, actually something we have to do every day. So that's the other keyword, I think. Yes, and I also, in when, when I visited you and your company, there was also this nice sentence, um, when it comes to digitalization, what we recommend you is stop talking. You have to start doing oh, it. That's true. <laughs> so, um, and so thank you a lot for this uh, very interesting insights. I mentioned it before. Tronrö, the colleagues, the engineers, and the machine are here at the booth. So you can go there and you can ask them whatever you want to relate it to the machine. Almost everything, yes. Almost everything related yeah. to the machine. So this is the way to the machine. You will find Eric there. Um, we have also here Eric, who is a programming engineer. And um, I guess also um, probably other colleagues, Olaf, will be there of Tronrö. So feel free to discuss with them the technical details and also the benefits they receive by using virtual commissioning and the digital twin of Siemens. So, thank you a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.